we are going to be checking out the Soyon Mini PC. But before we do that, we're going to see what's in the box. So this Mini PC is actually mini. If you look at this box, I mean, my hand is not that much bigger than the actual box. The first thing that we see is a greeting that says, hello. It's like a little card. That is actually super cool. Look at that. Hello. The next thing is a user manual. Very nice. Ooh, then there's a ribbon. There's a red ribbon that comes on this mini PC. Although there is two little spots that we can grab to get it out. But I think this is to help us actually get it out. Let's see. Let's see if we can wiggle this all the way out. Come on, come on. Ooh, we got it, we got it. Let's take this out. Just some protective foam. There's more protective foam. And then there's some hidden goodies all the way at the bottom. Let's take that out. What do we have here? We have the power adapter. We have an HDMI cable, which they include with the system. We have some type of bracket. We'll have to see what that's about. And we have a few screws. So here's everything that you actually get with the system. It's gonna be a metal bracket, which we have to figure out what that is about. We have a few screws that goes with the metal bracket. We have the power supply itself. We have an HDMI cable, which they include, super cool. We have a ribbon cable, which helped us take it out. And of course we have the mini PC itself. Now I wanna point something out. Again, I don't have very big hands. This thing just got smaller. The one thing that I personally want to know is if this is upgradable because it does come with uh, a certain amount of RAM and a certain amount of storage, but I wanna know if I can actually upgrade it myself in case I want, for example, a one terabyte in there. Okay, so it does look like you can possibly upgrade the storage in this, but what kind of storage did they actually install to this? I'm very curious. Let's see. So it looks like it's actually not NVMe that's in here. It looks like it's a SATA. Now we see the Wi-Fi card that's in here. I'm curious to know if the, if the RAM can be upgraded though. I think the RAM might actually just be built in. All right, so I think I can get in it from here. That's the ethernet port. So now that I'm looking at this, it doesn't seem like you can actually upgrade the RAM. The RAM is built in. It is part of the PCB itself. That is just the cooler that's there. So we're going to put this back. Looks like the only upgradable part is going to be the storage itself. So for example, I have another NVMe here. This one is 512. So if I wanted to, I could upgrade this to a 512. That is very convenient. I'm not going to do that though. I'm going to use it with the one that it came with because we obviously want to test what we get with the system itself. So of course I'm going to put all this back together and we are going to power it out. So let's talk specs. The mini PC comes with the Intel N150, which is part of the Twin Lake family, making this a 13th generation CPU. This quad core CPU has a base clock of 800 megahertz and can reach up to 3.6 gigahertz speeds in single core performance with a TDP of only six watts. For RAM, this mini PC has 12 gigabytes of LPDDR5 Samsung RAM running at 4,800 megahertz. But the RAM is on board, so we can't remove or upgrade it. The SSD that is included with this one is a 256 SATA SSD, but the storage is upgradable and you can actually upgrade it up to a two terabyte SSD. The OS included with the mini PC is usually Ubuntu, or in other words, Linux, but as we can see, the mini PC is also compatible with Windows 11 Pro, which ours comes with. As for connectivity, this mini PC includes a dual gigabit LAN port layout, Wi-Fi 5, and Bluetooth 4.2. This means that you can have network redundancy or even connect to two different networks like a local private LAN and also the internet for proper traffic management. Or you could just go wireless. For ports, we have three USB 3.2 Gen 2, which can transfer up to 10 gigabits per second, two HDMI 2.0 ports, one display port, and two type C ports. All of this while staying in a super compact, well, tiny form factor. This makes the Soyon Mini PC great for light office work, schoolwork, entertainment, and more. So who is this product actually for? Well, if you think about it, let's say you just started a new job and don't really have a lot of funds and you need to work from home. You need to be able to log into your account. You need to be able to browse. You need to be able to do research and fill out spreadsheets. Well, this is gonna be perfect for you because you're not going to spend an arm and a leg to get you started. The other thing is what if you are a student, a student that does not have an expensive laptop or an expensive computer, you'll still need to be able to do your homework one way or another. And well, this is perfect for that because you have multiple monitor inputs 
So then you can have your homework on one side, your research on the other side, and it has all the points that you need to actually plug in your keyboard mouse and among other things. So we're thinking about students here. We're, th we're thinking about people that work from home. They just want an easy setup where you can just kind of take this with you as well. Cause it is very portable. As you can see, it is very portable. It's very small and light. That being said, I do have a plan for this because not only can this be your office computer, it can also be the access or link to a more powerful computer, for example, a gaming PC. So we're going to install a software called Parsec onto this, which will allow us to then stream a gaming PC through this and it'll give us access to that gaming PC from wherever we are, as long as we have good internet. That opens up a whole new set of possibilities for this. So what this essentially allows me to do now that I have Parsec on both computers, the gaming PC and this awesome mini PC, I can go ahead and just connect to the gaming PC. This will actually now give me access to the full computer that is currently in the loft, which means now I can play video games on this computer, on this little mini PC. And we're actually gonna start up a game here, Disney Speedstorm. So now I have essentially turned my gaming PC into a cloud gaming PC through this. So now I get to game wherever I want through the mini PC. Isn't this crazy? This is so cool, but I don't have a controller connected to this, but I'm trying here. And yes, I know I have not activated my windows on my gaming PC. I understand that. So I want to thank Soyon for sending this out to me. I really hope I'm pronouncing the name correctly. I'm not entirely sure, but I do appreciate you sending this out to me. I really love this product because not only does it take care of anybody that's in need to have a PC to work with and do schoolwork with at a very low cost, but it also opens us up to new possibilities by turning this into a link to, for example, a gaming PC like we saw here. But the fact that you can just plug three monitors to this thing and work on your spreadsheets, work on your homework, stream media, entertainment, everything all from this at a very low cost is really cool. If you would like to get one of these for yourself, I am going to leave a link in the description below so you can easily find this because it does give a lot of people an opportunity to own a PC without having to spend too much. All right, everybody, make sure that you take care of yourself and others. I will see you on the next video.